I'm Jess, and welcome to Jess Science. Today we're going to make our own popsicle harmonica. So I've got the finished product over here, and I just blow through it and get a beautiful noise. It may sound like I'm humming, and I'm not. It really is just blowing air. So let's take a look and see how we make this. To make your popsicle stick harmonica, you're going to need three elastics, two pieces of cardboard, so I've got a little piece here that I folded in half to make it a little bit thicker, and two popsicle sticks. So step one is you put your pieces of cardboard on one of your sticks, just kind of near the ends there, and then you take one of your elastics and you carefully put it around it. off to be able to stretch it out. You want to stretch it right down the center here. There we go. And then I'll just slide the other piece in near the end over there. Now I've got the pieces just over there because we are going to be putting elastics around the ends here. We want to make sure we don't trap the cardboard. So I pop the other popsicle stick over top. Use my other elastics to wrap around the ends. So I'll just do this end first. it doesn't snap on your fingers. There we go. That's all there is to it. So we have the elastic that's on the center here and the two on the ends and then just blow through it. <laughs> and again for this one the reason why we're making noise and sound is all about vibrations. When we're blowing through the elastic there it's causing that vibration and the vibrations traveling through the ear, uh, air into our ears and that's how we hear it. Experiment a little bit, see if it matters how thick your cardboard is or how close to the center it is. Does it change the sound? I'll leave you to find out. That's been Jess Science. See you next time. Bye!